Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albight Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Belgium versus Canada. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Toby Alderweireld plays with Jan Vertonghen at the back. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. And here's the starting lineup for Canada. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, I think with Belgium, it's a question of whether or not they can fulfil their potential. And quite frankly, Stuart, we've been asking that question of them for quite some time now, haven't we? Yes, we have, but I think they're probably past their best. Some of their key players are now ageing. Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this! They had to react, and did. Tielemans. Well, we have to say, Stuart, respect and admiration grows for Kevin De Bruyne with each passing year. So many attributes. What are you looking for from him in this game? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. They might be able to get in now. possession to give them the lead maybe keeper did his job to begin with and a goal now they have their opener and now they can celebrate well here you can see it again good run great strength and a composed finish under pressure that's a top class goal One nil then. Lukaku. And Belgium in a position of menace. A fine reading of the situation.
Well, they might be onto something. Well, it looked like it might lead to something very positive indeed, but a useful interception. Lukaku. Scott Kennedy. On to David. Jonathan Osorio. He would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. De Bruyne. Anakin now. Azar. I must say, this looks promising. De Bruyne. Return to Lukaku. Just couldn't capitalise there. Surely! Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. Playing it short. Anakin. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. David. And a poor ball. Well, there it is. As expected, Belgium have controlled more of the ball so far, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Well, perhaps they can do something better with the ball now. And blocked for now. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And I think we've got to conclude. It's been a difficult outing, this one, Stuart, for Romelu Lukaku. Yeah, I've been really disappointed with him today, Derek. He just hasn't looked himself. But I think it's fair to say he hasn't had great service, has he? So back underway here into the second half. opened up for him tremendous defending to stonewall him it's got to be not the easiest of situations for the keeper can he deliver it with accuracy no keeper will mind that sort of corner. Tielemans. Romelu Lukaku now. Here's Tielemans. Lukaku. Here's De Bruyne. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now can they counter clinically? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Lovely ball over the top. And he's in. Can he finish? And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, here it is again. It's a wonderfully weighted ball over the top, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1.
Atiba Hutchinson. Chance to do damage. Eustachio. Really important piece of last ditch defending. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Jonathan David. Good looking move, this. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Can they push ahead in the closing stages? Absolutely nothing wrong with the idea, but no end product. Lukaku! Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gets them victory. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And just five minutes remaining. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Will it be? Keeper getting the touch. Nicely blocked. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And the final whistle, an acceptable outcome from a Belgian point of view, a victory for them here. Stuart, sum it up for us. Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition, and that was the case here. They kept going, and they eventually got their reward. Romano Lukaku does know how to take a game by the scruff of the neck. What would be your verdict on his performance? Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.